good to be on line and in the word. Amen. And um, <coughs> in God's house, if you're Jesus able house. to watch online and join us that way, thank you for doing so. Leave us a like or a wave or a gif or a, a comment so that we know that you're alive. <laughs> Ladies Bible study this month, Wednesday night 11, uh, sorry, Sunday 11 a.m. Come and join us Wednesday night at 6. We are here uh, or there about as near as we can get. So, uh, yeah, well, let's pray. Mm -hmm. Heavenly Father, we just thank you, Lord, for this time, Lord, and we pray that you would minister your life to each one. Thank you for those that are here. Thank you for those that can uh, be together and open the word. Guide us to make every place full us with your light and your spirit. Um, we have nothing in ourselves. Lord. We have no good in ourselves. We have no words or ideas of our own, Lord, but we rely on your spirit. Guide us tonight, Lord, and fill us and use us. Uh, be with those that can't be here, Lord, tonight. Mm -hmm. We pray for the healing for Mary. We want to pray for that yes. healing on that leg, yes, mm -hmm. that ankle, uh, that you would turn the situation around uh, to your glory tonight. Mm -hmm. We pray that she would be able to work again when she needs to, or that tomorrow morning or the next few days, Lord, mm -hmm. that you would just um, strengthen that and pass on it. Pray for Primrose as well, mm -hmm. uh, our friend and our sister in the Lord. Uh, we pray for a way for her to be back here with us, mm -hmm. uh, that you would open the doors, that you would turn the situation around. Mm -hmm. uh, we have faith for it, mm -hmm. uh, we, we trust that you are able, Lord, and we, we pray for that now, Lord, uh, that she will be found strong and healed in her mind and, mm -hmm. uh, and so that handle the vaccine. We are speaking today to give them good spirits and mm -hmm. good health as well as they grow a face for the shoulder Lord the arm mm -hmm. and the back and we pray for each one that's here. For any others as well that you would Ruby as well Lord we pray for Myrtle and keep him in good health mm -hmm. as well we ask and um, you encourage us tonight Lord we pray and we ask that you would bless her as she heals her sister mm -hmm. as well. We want to see that sepsis Lord for yes. uh, wisdom mm -hmm. about um, the chemo treatment Lord where her to mm -hmm. start it when to start it uh, how it should proceed Lord and just the, the strength and the capacity uh, the emotional capacity for it but also the spiritual opportunity for it mm -hmm. you, Lord. Yes, sir. we pray that you would um, for others as well that says make a joyful noise unto the Lord all ye lands serve the Lord with gladness come before his presence with singing know ye that the Lord he is God it is he that hath made us and not we ourselves we are his people 
sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. So yeah, uh, a psalm of praise uh, in these this part of the, the Bible where many of them are about praising God, uh, many of them are uh, on that subject, uh, an encouraging part of the, of the Bible if you ever need encouragement, read these psalms. words as well um, yeah it starts with an instruction mm. make a joyful noise unto the Lord all ye lands <laughs> make a joyful noise we often think of when I mean if you've been around Christian circles for a certain amount of time churches, uh, places of worship, we often have in our minds the passages of something to do with, with poor singing. <laughs> <laughs> make a joyful noise to the Lord. In other words, you know, oh, I can't sing. Well, it doesn't matter. Just make, make a, a joyful, joyful noise to the Lord. You know. <laughs> or it's like, oh, there's only a few of us to sing today. Well, it doesn't matter. We'll make a joyful, joyful noise to the Lord. And this is the way we've sort of we sort of used it as believers in churches in in this country uh, in the in the <laughs> late twentieth century for the twenty uh, first century mm. to sort of say well you know oh well you know we're not we're not very good but we'll you know we'll do what we can and, and, and the thing is you know and it's like no but that's not what it's about is it really. That's not the point. It's express your joy. That's it. Make a joyful noise. It's not. It doesn't say sing. I mean, singing is later in the next verse. But I'm fine. But but actually, make a joyful noise. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Shout to the Lord. That's the thing. It's like just make a joyful noise. It doesn't have to be. Even in expressed in words. Think about it. Football match <laughs> or a, a rock concert. What do the people who are, are watching and taking part do there? They're cheering. They're making a, a noise. They're shouting. They're waving. They're, they're you know, uh, doing all they can to express their joy. And that's the thing, isn't it? And that's what it's saying here. When we come to the house of the Lord, mm. when we come
coming to church is a place of joy. You know, come and come and get encouraged. Come and be made joyful. Come and uh, and and lift up your voice as well. And it doesn't matter what you say. Yay! Oh, <laughs> it's fine. It's Woo. a jo- it's a <laughs> joyful noise. Yes. That's what it's saying. Uh, get, get it out there. <laughs> Let it go. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Yeah. It's to the Lord as well. And that's the other important thing about it. It's not about who's going to hear. It's not making a joyful noise for other people to appraise or other people to notice. It's actually just make a joyful noise. Between you and him, yes. as if no one else is around, make a joyful noise to the Lord. <laughs> and that's it. Sometimes we just need to do that, it is, is let out our praise and our joy. Um, it doesn't depend whether we feel like it. It doesn't depend on our emotions. It's actually, yeah, it's an instruction. Just do it. <laughs> just make that, that noise because actually it helps. Maybe even when we don't feel like it yeah. is perhaps the best time to do it. The best time to praise the Lord is maybe if we're feeling discouraged or hopeless or facing problems or issues or struggling. It just actually, you know what? I'm going to praise the Lord. It's a decision of the heart as well. Mm. Make it a joyful noise to the Lord. doesn't matter who else hears it. And it says, all ye lands. Because actually, when it comes to it, it's not like, make a joyful noise to the Lord, uh, you Christians. Mm. Uh, Not make a joyful noise to the Lord, you who go to Greater Grace Mm. Church, Mm. or those of you in this location or those of you who feel like it, or those of you who are there at this time. Now, all your la- all the land, the whole earth belongs to the Lord. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. He is the God of the whole world, the whole earth. Yeah, all creation, mm. all the nations together. You know, that's, uh, that's what... Uh, conferences are like isn't it mm. it's people from around the world yes. praising God together mm. that's the spirit now you might say well yeah, okay that's fine that we don't have we don't have people from Kazakhstan and Costa Rica with us today we don't have you know somebody from Zambia or, or Peru or so easy to do it on your own it doesn't matter Mm. who's there but we can join with the whole earth when we praise Mm. actually you know what we don't know who is praising God today you know think about it Uh, on Wednesday morning my wife and I we often pray for uh, uh, friends around the world in different churches Mm. and different places and we think about it when I, what, what I, I specifically do that on a Wednesday because a lot of the churches have midweek services mm. but they are all different times of the day so mm. we're praying for Pastor Ganesh and Brother yes. Pearsons uh, in, in, in India but their service is probably long over with now because mm. like they've had it they've been, it's been and gone and done mm. uh, and, uh, and yet the Baltimore service is not starting to mm. for, a, for a few hours yet but actually we can join with the whole earth mm. it doesn't have to be at the simultaneously but we can you know praise you lord make a joyful noise to the lord all ye lands every part the whole of creation remember what jesus said in luke luke nineteen forty. 
like you know, he, he's keep quiet. The rocks and the stones will mm -hmm. yeah. will start the shout out. And it's like in Isaiah fifty five twelve, the mountains and the trees will uh, break forth into singing, and the trees will clap their hands. So this is the thing where we join with all creation. Mm -hmm. The seas roar as well. <laughs> the heavens declare his glory in Psalm 19. It's like, yeah, we make a joyful noise and we join with the whole of creation and the whole of the earth when we do that. So it's a good thing. <laughs> it's an encouraging thing. <laughs> Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Now there's two ways to think about that, yeah. two ways to interpret that, serve the Lord with gladness. Mm -hmm. So it's maybe the way that we think of most easily, which is, you know, uh, whatsoever you do it, uh, do unto the Lord, uh, you know, heartily. Having joy in serving the Lord. Yeah. Uh, we do things for the glory of God, 1 Corinthians 10, 31. But also uh, think about this. Uh, God loves a cheerful giver. 2 Corinthians 9, 6. Yes, we, we, whatever it is, whether it's we're giving, whether we're, we're serving, uh, yeah, we do it for the glory of God and we do it for, with joy. And there is joy in it. But also, there's another way to think of it. And that is that actually, our gladness can be a service to the Lord. Serve the Lord with gladness. Yes, have gladness in serving but actually serve the Lord with gladness. In other words, our gladness becomes the service of the Lord. Serve the Lord by being glad. That's in our service. How, how do they know that we're Christians? They will know that you're Christians by the fact that you love one another. What else that actually we have peace? What else that we have joy together in, in, in his presence? There's fullness of joy. So actually gladness, therefore the redeemed of the Lord shall rejoice and come with singing and gladness and everlasting joy shall be upon their face. You know what? Redemption is something that brings in gladness and actually our gladness is a service our gladness is a testimony to the world around us to the unbeliever to those that are struggling those that are sad those that are discouraged our gladness our, our joy in the Lord is a blessing and it's actually a service to the Lord to promote his joy his gladness. <laughs> yeah, good. Come before his presence with singing. Mm. And again, we, t we, we often sing things like that. But also, uh, our singing ushers in a presence of grace. Ushers in maybe even do we start the service with singing usually it's to change the atmosphere mm. it's for us to have that focus whereby are we going to lift up God's name praise him glorify him sing praises chant hallelujah and what does that do that brings an atmosphere of praise it brings an atmosphere of thanksgiving into where we are and when we come into his presence and uh, we come before him uh, mm -hmm. with singing again it's it's a it, it's a good
do it often. Uh, yeah, I remember in uh, when I had second chronicles of twenty, isn't it? Where actually um, they they sent the the singers into the battle before anyone else, before the army. And actually, when they got there, the army, the opposing armies, had already been defeated. There was nobody to fight. Why? Because actually God has done it. <laughs> God had caused them to fight each other uh, and they were all gone <laughs> by the time that they got there. Why actually, you know what? They, they trusted God. They praised God first and they led the battle with praising. They went into God's presence with singing and it, and it was a testimony a testimony of faith, because they were praising God, whatever. Uh, a testimony of, of, of God's presence. A testimony of victory. <laughs> wow. And, uh, yeah, it says, Know ye that the Lord, he is God. Okay, they'd seen Baal worshippers, they'd seen the crowd pleasers, they'd seen all those other uh, people around dancing around and cutting themselves with knives and all sorts of things. Yeah, but actually when they saw God come through, the nation proclaimed the Lord, he is God. Now what does it say? No, ye. know it as a certainty I saw some stupid clip online the other day actually I think you know my inclination is to <laughs> it popped into my mind now uh, I don't know who she was some TV personality with Richard Dawkins I don't know if you all know this but saying oh yeah my two year old <laughs> what a stupid question to ask anyway but also the thing is actually we can know and the word tells us to know that he is God mm -hmm. and actually a personal experience of God a relationship with God we can know that he is God it's not some uh, deep silly theological question and, uh, so what you know are you going to f be fuddled Peculiar words. And, uh, no, you know what? Just know that he is God. That's the thing. We're told to be still, aren't we, in the Psalm 46 10? Be still and know that I am God. Just experience that in the, in the quietness. Uh, know that uh, the Lord is there. Know that he's real. Know that he's with you. That is the point. around us, the body of Christ, they're blessings of God, aren't they? And uh, the more we look at it, actually everything we have is from the Lord. You know, if we have a job, it's from the Lord. If 
we don't have a job, it's from the Lord. If we have a home, it's from the Lord. <laughs> if we don't have a home, it's from the Lord. <laughs> you know, you know. Uh, and whatever it is, the Lord has made us an offering to His name. If we've had an experience in life, it's from the Lord. A negative experience, but maybe something that made us the people we are today. A uh, negative experience that caused us to trust in the Lord. A positive experience yeah. of knowing God and discovering Him. These are the things that have made us who we are today. That He has made us, not we ourselves. We don't go out to build our life and strive and struggle. And actually, that if we do that, there's pressure. If it's all down to us, there is a lot of pressure. That oh, well, I've got to make. Father, I've got to be a good work colleague. You know, I've got to give to charity. I've got to pay the uh, taxes and do all of the things. I've got to be a good citizen. I've got to be responsible. And it's like, yeah, this is the thing, isn't it? If we're relying only on ourselves and on our goodness and our, and our good mm -hmm. works. But actually, if we have the attitude, actually the Lord has made us and not we ourselves, so if there's anything good in our life, it's down to him. You know, and if there's anything challenging in our life, God's allowed it, but he's going to be with us through it as well. And so it's like, yeah, the Lord has made us, not we ourselves. And what does that lead to? It means that we have gratitude and freedom. Gratitude because, wow, Everything I have is from the Lord. It's a blessing. It belongs to Him. It's down to Him. Gratitude, because actually we're here by His grace, by His mercy, that things happen to us. We're saved by His grace, by His mercy, and by faith. And it's like, yeah, but also freedom, in that it doesn't depend on us. It's not a pressure on us all the time. We, act, we actually, we, the Lord has made us, not we ourselves. And so uh, it, it doesn't stop, it doesn't rest on our shoulders, it doesn't stop with us, the buck doesn't stop with us, as it were. It's like, no, actually, the Lord is in control. He is the one, he's the one that makes the roads clean for us as well. And so, yeah, it gives us gratitude and it gives us freedom to know that he 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 made it he made us you know and and then it says that we are sheep of his pasture wow we are sheep of his pasture what does it mean it means that he owns us he takes care of us he leads us he guides us he nurtures us he provides for us he protects us that's what a, a shepherd does with sheep isn't it we're in the pasture we're in a, a place where we can be fed well we're spiritually uh, we're in the past pasture we're in a place where we can relax and rest we're safe from the predators around uh, you know it's like we're not in the woods with the wolves or the lions or other predators or the bears it's like no actually uh, we're in the pasture we're in a place where we can we can be fed and relax and and, and get on with things and the shepherd is going to look after us we're sheep of his pasture wow <laughs> enter into his gate started off with like an instruction uh, praise the Lord now, now it's more of an invitation enter
enter into these gates with them and we're going to have these big courts with gates. Mm. Wow. What does that say? Well, I'll let you come into actually uh, Hebrews 10, 19. We can approach with boldness. Mm. We can approach him and boldly enter into his presence. Mm. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Because thanksgiving mm. over the situation because he has made us not we ourselves we have praise mm. we have something to thank God for mm. approach mm. Uh, into the into the house of the Lord dwell in the house of the Lord mm -hmm. that gives us something it's into into his gates You know, the thing was as well, when did the Jewish people enter into the courts? Through the gates and into the courts. It was to go into the temple, mm. into God's house. Mm. And that was, you know, three times a year mm. for a feast day, for a celebration. So actually what is being advocated here is draw near to God. Come into the temple into a place of worship but come in for a feast day come in and and, and and be bold be full be loved be encouraged have a feast of joy when I come before you that's the point come into the atrium to meet with God with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise with singing the song maybe before we think of the meaning of the verse but it's good to remember that the words have power in themselves mm. and yeah actually maybe the songs help us remember them mm. that's the good thing actually yeah. putting <coughs> things to music and remember that the songs are written as songs yes. to be sung so it's it's not wrong to sing them but as long as we actually focus on what the words mean as well Yeah, a feast, uh, one of the feast days, mm. Passover, or the Feast of the yeah. Tabernacles, yeah. Pentecost, the first fruits. Mm. You know, it's like all of these feast days that were mm. done as a celebration for a nation to come together and mm. celebrate their God and celebrate victory and remind themselves who they were in the kingdom and who they were in God. Mm. We can remember who we are in Christ. Mm. something we can thank God for Absolutely. if we can't find anything else to thank God for in our life we thank, we thank God for his mercy so actually if we're saved by grace if we're saved by his grace and his mercy that, that's forever God is never going to bring back the things that he has forgiven us for that's great to great news is everlasting mercy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not gonna. Oh, oh you've had your, you've had your mercy now. It's, <laughs> it's over with. Uh, so I'm gonna go back to dealing with you with the law. No, no it's everlasting, <laughs> everlasting mercy. Absolutely. It's, yeah, that's it. Everlasting mercy, mm -hmm. and His truth endures to all. Endures forever, mm. his mercy endures forever, and we 
could see this again so much of what God gives us is the only things that will last. actually <laughs> his truth endures for yeah, all yeah, yeah. Yeah. but a generation that knows and still to come that will get to know the truth of the Lord Jesus Christ there are generations that we that have long passed that need the truth of the Lord Jesus Christ that every generation God is faithful and his truth endures mm. let's pray Heavenly Father, we just thank you, Lord, for this uh, short song, a few words that you promised us, but Lord, we thank you for the power of it. We thank you for the power of our praise and our worship, that it can make us thankful, that it can give, put us in perspective, that it could be a, a blessing to others, that our gladness can be a service to others. Thank you, Lord, for that. Thank you for the gifts that you give us that are eternal. Yes, God. Thank, thank you, Lord. Everlasting life. Mm -hmm. That is what you promised to the believer. That is what you purchased on our behalf. He that believes on us can do it. He will not perish, but have mm -hmm. everlasting life. And we thank you, Lord, for that. Thank you for an everlasting Savior. something we want to shout about it is something that that changes our heart our mind our life and lord we thank you that it changed our life many years ago and continues to change us even now today and will do for generations to come <laughs> thank you lord we praise you now in the name of our lord jesus christ and if there's anyone out there watching who has never trusted doesn't know this peace and this joy and, and can't enter in in thanksgiving and praise Lord we pray that actually this would be the time when they could say Lord I want to understand it I want to know it and I want to experience it come into my heart Lord I open my heart to you now I believe that I need forgiveness I believe that I need a saviour Lord I believe that you have that desire to fellowship with me forgive me, to heal me and to give me your peace and your joy thank you Lord for the gifts that you have given us and just help us to understand it now to be known and loved Jesus
Ik ga het ook even. Hi, Mary. <laughs>